contribute to the business. Now, have a look at the ladders there for all the in the workplace and decide what level you think you're at. You do that now? You've got the ladder in front of you there. All the in the workplace. <coughs> And then, with your uh, permission, I'll move on to. Oh, and these scores were quite different from the healthy scores. I said, well, we've all got some work to do. Up until that time, we thought that human resources dealt with employees. Then we realized when we saw the scores that we had to do it in the division. So, measuring employee attitudes became a creation of importance of how they manage their people in every division. And all of a sudden, over the next several years, we saw the scores improving very dramatically, I have to say. And so, when you see that, when you put um, uh, measures up on machinery, on equipment, stuff like that, we find that people can't help but ask how they can start improving the scores. It makes them think. It's the acid test of whether you're actually progressing or not. And I have to say, what are you going to measure? What is going to be your key measures uh, if you're going to decide how you work and progress you're making towards their class? And it's interesting when I say measure could take you to the moon. <coughs> In fact, on the first uh, moon probe, uh, the first rocket went up. 97% of the time, it was not on track. It was only on track 3% of the time. But because they were measuring it all the time, they could correct it all the time. And it's exactly the same when you're going to work all the time. <coughs> and it also shows that they're making progress or not. And I'll give you some examples in the measurements, visible measurement systems. Here's one. Now this one comes from, it's an improvement line. And this is changing all the presses which pressed the metal out. And at this point in time, it would take 17 minutes to change the press. And we want to get it down to under 10 minutes. So we make a target of 9 minutes. And that's important. We have to have a target line on the measures that you use. Don't just measure them, but put a target on there. And preferably make it one which is improving all the while. Steadily, slowly, but steadily improving. And when we say operation standardized there, what that means is that when they find a way to get it under the target line, they capture that and say, this is how we're going to do it in the future. That's what we mean by standardizing. Capturing the best way we know how and making it commonplace. Now, in this one company, we are keen that people should increase their skills. So they have this on the wall. And it was about, it's called an ILU chart. And basically what happens is we want people to continue to increase their skills gradually, gradually over a period of time. And we publish on the wall everybody's name. This is taken for a simple section of the, the company. And down here we've got individual names. And the black bit means they are fully trained. This L shape means that they are halfway trained. And you can see that every person, you can tell that every person can do there. And if you want to increase their skills, the supervisor can see who's got what skills and where to go next because it's visible. And funnily enough, when they put it on the wall, individuals love to put more blobs on their line. Interesting. You don't have to press them into it. They want to do it. They would like to have blobs right along the line. That's the power of visual measurement. Because we like to see it up there in the work area where people actually work. And if you're going to do it, it has to be visible from a distance. You have to be able to see it. <coughs> we like the ability to be able to know what it means. So that when the manager director comes down, we want him to ask questions about what he sees on the wall. <coughs> it has to be at the place of work, uh, not in a drawer. That's an important thing. Don't keep the food and stuff in a drawer. Make it available to everybody, how the company is doing and how they're doing. It should show solid parameters, a uh, little bit training, and preferably get the two members themselves to mark it up. If the supervisor keeps it in his drawer, it's his measure. It doesn't belong to the team, it belongs to him. So if he complains about this, say, oh, don't worry about that, it's just him completely as he normally does. But if they mark it up, if they mark it up, it becomes their measure. 
which supposedly has become their measure, because even when the civil 